Do you know what today is? It's October 31st. Welcome to detention. You can tell it's detention because there's going to be fog. But today isn't just another school day. It's October 31st. You know what October 31st is, don't you? She's from Alaska, and she asked the same question the very same night that she died. So let me get this straight. You all hide on October 31st because you pray that you aren't going to get killed on November 1st because that's the day that November Neal walks the earth? Yes. yes. How have you never heard of this? Jesus, where are you from, new kid? Alaska? Oh, Alaska! Oh, oh, Listen! The city's on lockdown, so we better hunker down here in detention until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning when November Neil goes back to sleep. Good plan. Thanks. Wait, wait, why? What? November Neil! Jesus! Alaska! Pay attention! Or are you deaf like a deaf person? <laughs> Have you seriously never heard of November Neil? No, I haven't, and I'm not deaf. What did he do? What, what didn't he do? I heard he controls an army of undead terrorist zombies. In church, they say he eats the souls of unborn children. I heard it's the souls of unborn children. <laughs> I heard he hides deep in Loch Ness. Like some sort of Loch Ness monster. <laughs> no, I don't think that's right. I don't think any of this is right. Mine was right. Listen, Alaska, if 
you want to learn about November, Neil, you got to start with the classics. This here's the tale of how November Neil broke the hearts of the Vampire Council. It's the tale of November
If I were going to kill somebody, I'd totally do it with a nail gun, and I'd go right in the back of their neck, like the top of their spinal cord. So even if they didn't die, they'd have like an awful limp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're in here because you killed someone! No, man. I'm in here because I'm always in here. Because my parents have better things to do than raise me. Oh. <laughs> you sound like a troubled soul haunted by your past sins. Oh, well, here we go with all that Christian stuff again. <laughs> here we go indeed. We are all of us burdened by the sins of our transgressions, spirits that weigh us down. From the dirtiest, lowliest Alaskan... Hey! ...to the Pope himself. You know, all Alaskans aren't dirty. Wait, what did you say, the Pope? I did say the Pope. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it says in the Lord's Book. That we are... that the Vatican is and shall forever be haunted by the ghost of November in In Italy they say November. It's the tale of... Wafers in my hair! <laughs> 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 
across Puerto Rico, the story is told of the soup-eating demon who looks like a goat. And the reason he looks like a goat is because he is a goat. <laughs> was first spotted in 1995, the same day on the island when soup first arrived. But the soup disappeared, and no one could understand why. You were almost right about his name. He comes from cabra, or Spanish for go, si, but also from the Spanish verb supar, which means to eat soup. The supacabra, he is the soup goat. The goat who eats soup. It's the tostada, come in salada, which means king of thieves. Of soup, and the tradition, the sound of the wailing of waiters and wives, as the people scream, run for your life! Or Feliz Navidad. Because he eats soup, he is lord of all goats. Seeking tongue and a fireproof throat. Normal goats do not eat soup. And, and science has proven this. <laughs> Put soup in front of most goats. They'll head but the beans and the barley. Oh no! But to El Soup and Cabra. That soup is a fiesta, which is Spanish for pardon me. It's time to eat some soup. <laughs> Say te amo el supercabra. I love you, the supercabra. Porque soy un astronaut. Because I am an astronaut. Y mi bandera. <laughs> my banker. Está llorando. Is crying. To the king. The supercabra is a palabra, which means problem for kitchen. <laughs> when he scares ya, it's quinceañera, which means instant death. <laughs> And also drink all of your juice. He is a supercabra. We're going to eat soup. Espanol.
Sam didn't kill her with a list of harsh truths. Sounds like suicide. You're totally right. Finally! Darkness, beautiful darkness. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing now! Darkness cures all. It's November Neal! Oh, where? No, the darkness. The darkness is November Neal. In Norway, November Neal is our word for the longest night of the year. In Norway, sometimes November Neal can last for days. That sounds amazing. That sounds boring. What do you do? We have an ancient Norwegian tradition. <laughs> On those long Norwegian nights, when you think you're dying of fright, all you gotta do is inappropriately touch a stranger in the dark. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> when darkness covers the land, take the underside of your hand and gently inappropriately touch a stranger in the dark and let your beard. <laughs> is gone for days, so you need a poke from a random bloke to help you stay away. Ah, no. A squeeze or a pat so you scream. Who was oh, that? Yes. Axel or Gerda or Mark, it doesn't matter. Inappropriately touchy stranger in the dark. <laughs> when it gets so dark you feel blind, put your hand on someone's behind, and then what? Inappropriately touch a stranger in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> when you can't see nothing at all, reach around for somebody's balls, and then what? Inappropriately touch a stranger in the balls. Oh, I <laughs> Daylight, it's not polite to grope for folks you don't know. But when the moon is out, you'll laugh and shout Ooh. when you feel a little yeah. pins below. Oh, oh, yeah. It's just a must to be anonymous. You might have to hide in a park. Cause it's illegal to be a really touch a stranger. In a touch a stranger. Inappropriately touch a stranger in the dark. <laughs> because the sun doesn't just turn on randomly like that. <laughs> this would never happen in my old school. Well, normally it wouldn't happen here either because the teachers are super strict. Yeah, hey, you guys, um, like I'm here in detention pretty often, and normally the teachers are here with us the whole time, but today, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, the teacher's name, she never <laughs> even showed up. You know, in Norway, teachers are paid like doctors. If you want a qualified professional, money is the best incentive. That's what I say. <laughs> Pretending that I'm not hearing that. <laughs> the value our society places on the educational system is so embarrassing. Oh my god, that's so true. Thanks. You know, that's not true everywhere. There's really great schools in Alaska. <laughs> Alaska! Why are there even schools in Alaska? So they can teach people how to track mooses. Yeah, that's why it's moose. Catch fish with sticks, too. And make husbands out of snow. <laughs> yeah, we have a shit ton of snow in Norway, and you don't see us fucking any snow husbands. <laughs> we don't do that. Do it. Not that I care, but we should really figure out where this stupid fucking teacher is. Yeah, yeah. you guys. Where's he at? Yeah, I guess. Where is the teacher? Maybe she quits. This is a job I'd pass up. Being the teacher's the shadiest deal. Like living in Alaska. Snowman. So then, the 
It's the tail of No! Poison Hammer! I always kill dramatically.